Hello students, my name is Professor Sonia Bajaj, Head of Department Computer Science and Engineering from GH Raisuni University, Saikheda. I am back again with another lecture series of Eantra Lab and in this module we are going to have a brief discussion on how to position the Firebird 5 bot using various interrupt mechanisms. First of all to start with this discussion, we will have a brief introduction of what is an interrupt. Excuse me madam, I want to discuss about some important part. Ma'am, I am just delivering a lecture series, I will get back to you in 10 minutes. Okay, fine. So, did you just see what happened? Well, if not, I will just put a light on it. I was in an ongoing discussion with you all and suddenly ma'am came and interrupted me. This is how actually the microcontroller also works. My brain sends the signal and then after sensing those signal, it provided input to my brain and based on the input to my brain, I then sensed an action. So, in the similar way, microcontroller also works. Now, a question would tick to your mind that how about Firebird 5 bot because it does not have a brain. Well, if you would have gone through my previous lecture series, then in that I have discussed the intelligence module of Firebird 5 bot in which I have explained you that the intelligence module comprises of Atmega 2560 and Atmega 8 microcontroller. So, here the Atmega 2560 and Atmega 8 acts as the brain of the Firebird 5 bot. So, now let us see in detail what actually happens when this interrupt signal is received by a microcontroller. Now, we are talking about Atmega 2560 interrupt. So, what happens is in this microcontroller, suppose if the microcontroller is executing the main program, then the main program is executed in a sequence. In between when the interrupt signal occurs, then this particular interrupt signal is received by the microcontroller. The microcontroller leave its work in between and jumps to the work which is given by the this interrupt signal. Now, when actually this interrupt signal occurs, then the microcontroller needs to leave its ongoing process. So, the memory address of this ongoing process is saved in the program counter register. The program counter register is the one which plays an important role in this whole interrupt mechanism. The program counter saves the address of the memory from where the microcontroller left its work and then the control transfers from the main program to the ISR which is interrupt service routine. Interrupt service routine is also a code which is executed when the interrupt signal is received by the microcontroller. After the execution of interrupt service routine is done, then the control is again jumped back to the memory address of the main program where the microcontroller left its work. Now, who is responsible for again connecting this point from the ISR to the main program? it is the program counter register. So, the program counter register plays an important role in interrupt mechanism. Whether it is a basic computer or a microcontroller, in this whole process, this is the basic steps which takes place when an interrupt occurs. The interrupt usually starts from the signal and then it ends up to executing an ISR. The whole process of interrupting this main program and transferring the control from the main program to the ISR, then returning back the control from the ISR to the main program are the various steps that are involved in this complete interrupt mechanism process. So, I hope this interrupt mechanism process is clear to you. In technical terms, we can define an interrupt process or interrupt as a signal which is used to provide a break in the continuing ongoing process. Now, let us have a look on to the various interrupt mechanism handling in Atmega 2560 microcontroller. The Atmega 2560 has 57 different services for interrupt generation. Firebird 5 incorporates various interrupt handling mechanism such as timer overflow interrupts, timer compare interrupts, serial interrupts for doing a specific task etcetera. In this lecture, we will have a brief overview of interrupt concept and will discuss in detail about the external hardware interrupts for position estimation of robots using the position encoders. 
as you could see in the picture a position encoder is an equipment which is attached to both the wheels of the firebird 5 bot the position encoder is an optical position encoder that comprises of photodiode and ir led both the ir led and photodiode are placed opposite to each other in this position encoder when the ir light is interrupted by the encoder disk its output state changes from high to low or low to high output of the encoder is connected to the interrupt pin of the microcontroller left encoder is connected to int4 and right controller is connected to int5 you can clearly see in the picture how the optical position encoder looks like and how the ir led and photodiode are placed opposite to each other always remember while mapping or while writing the program of the position encoder the left encoder is connected to the int4 pin and the right encoder is connected to the int5 pin now there are certain specifications which you need to remember regarding the encoder disk which would be helpful for you to perform certain mathematical calculations for intended applications these calculations could be clearly seen on to the screen the number of slot in the disks are 30 the number of pulse or rotations of this disk is 30 the diameter of the wheel is 52 mm the resolution of position encoder could be calculated by the formula as pi into d by 30 equals to 5.44 mm i have just given the inputs based on the above mathematical calculations and based on that the formula for pulse count is derived as distance divided by 5.44 now to enable or disable a certain interrupt we require an eimsk register which is an external interrupt mask register the main function of this register is to provide the external or is to enable or disable the external interrupt which is going to be used by the microcontroller as seen in the table the value of int4 and int5 is switched to 1 as these are associated with the two motors we have on our bot now in order to call the isr that is interrupt service routine we need to first initialize it the isr could be initialized as shown in the ppt the format of isr for external interrupt is isr into bracket you need to mention the int number that is the interrupt number which could be seen from the table along with the along with the vector underscore vector command then comes the curly braces and the code that has to be written comes between those curly braces here i have also mentioned that n is the external interrupt number for at mega 2560 the n could range from 0 to 7 now we would see the syntax for c program in order to initialize the interrupts to write the c program we define the ports to which the position encoders are connected this is the first step is to write port initialization as seen on the screen firstly we define a function as left underscore encoder underscore pin underscore config this left encoder is connected to pin 4 of port e so we have defined this pin as input by writing that particular pin as 0 and we had given a value of 0x10 in port e to enable the register at port e pin 4 similarly as you can see in the next slide we have also initialized the right encoder port as follows we have used the function right underscore encoder underscore pin underscore config so the right encoder is connected at pin 5 of port e and the pin is defined as input pin and the pull up register is activated for that particular pin 
Now, after the left encoder interrupt is initialized and the right encoder in interrupt is initialized, the next step is to initialize the registers which tells the microcontroller how the interrupt has to be done. So, in order to initialize these registers, we have used here initials as EICRB and EIMSK because these are the only two registers which are used to initialize any particular interrupt mechanism. For left encoder interrupt, the initialization would be the value of EICRB and EIMSK as we had discussed in the previous slide in a table. And similarly, it is for right encoder part also. The SEI and CEI are the functions that are used for clearing and setting the interrupts. So, whenever we are initializing the interrupts, we should first globally disable all the interrupts and then set the interrupt for the intended requirement. So, this was all about how to position the encoder interrupt mechanism and we have also seen a C program that could be used to handle this interrupt mechanism. We have also discussed about the syntax for implementing this mechanism in C program language. Thank you.